Uh, I definitely think the youth is powerful enough to institute change. I think um, as a generation, <laughs> they're the only ones who can. You know, the thing is that the only way change can be instituted or the only way we're ever going to see change is if we make our voices heard. So a lot of the talk that you hear is people's non-willingness to vote. People are just like, I don't want to vote because of Nkandla or I don't want to vote because... Everybody just wants to be in government for tenders and money. And fine, fair enough, in one breath you're saying that you don't agree with those things. But what you also hear from that sentence or from that person's response is that they're not prepared to do anything about it. Just identifying the problem doesn't get you any solutions. So if you're going to just complain, nothing's going to change. However, if the youth has to realize their power, if they have to wake up and say, you know what, we are the people who are inheriting this country 20 years from now, 10 years from now. So the South Africa of tomorrow is going to be the South Africa that the youth of now is planning to have families and raise them in, is planning to, you know, build whatever legacy they want to. You know, the most important thing to me personally is family. It's very important to me that the South Africa of tomorrow is one that my son and all my children can live in um, one that I'd like to see my grandchildren come into, one that I'd like to grow old in. But if the youth doesn't wake up and start instituting that change, then I don't think we're going to have that South Africa. You know, you, the people that fought in the struggle and the people that run things now cannot run things forever. And I think the, the new generation of people that's coming up, I definitely don't see anybody where I can say, this person looks like they're going to be a leader of tomorrow. Um, in, in terms of the... the politics sphere um but i definitely think that we need the youth to wake up i think we need leaders that are going to come out and start teaching the youth the right message you know start telling them that look guys this is a democracy the only way it can remain a democracy is if we exercise our democratic right to vote when there's something we're not happy or happy with or happy about we need to go to the polls and vote to express our unhappiness Go and change the current regime or if you like the current regime and you want to keep that regime in power, you need to go and say, hey, this is my political party of choice. I like what they're doing and I want them to get another term. So you have to exercise that right in order to get change of any kind. The problem is that we're sitting with the youth that I don't know if they don't care, if they just don't know. But I think it's because they're just not concerned. I think the vast majority of youth is too caught up in so much other stuff that I don't think they even think that far. I don't think they even get that far where they're like, hey, maybe I want change and maybe I should do something to get that change. Nobody even, 80% of them, I'd say, don't even get that far. The other 20% are usually very intelligent and they immersed in their own lives and, you know, like building their own futures. And it's a very selfish way of thinking. You know, we don't have people like the Nelson Mandela's who had that selfless way of thinking where they were like, I'm doing this for everyone. I'm not doing this for myself. Nowadays, it's very much me. I'm going to do this, get this for myself. Me and my mentor, we're all going to be nice. And as far as everybody else goes, sort of like each man for himself and God for us all. And that thinking needs to change. As soon as that thinking change, changes, I believe that we can elect leaders um amongst our peers that we feel are the right people to take us into this generation of change and once those leaders are there we can sort of start getting the message out so that we can have this massive youth of 100 percent of the people between the ages of 16 or 18 and 30 you can say that are all aware that the only way change is going to come is if we exercise our democratic rights to vote to participate in the way our country is run to voice our opinions when we're unhappy about something, not at prize or at home, voice our opinions as loud as we possibly can, be it through social media, be it on radio, be it on television. Make yourself heard so that everybody will know that, hey, this is not just one person that feels like this. This is the youth. The youth feels like this and this decision is unanimous. We're not happy and we want change. That is how the youth can use that power and they definitely have that power. They just have to wake up and learn how to use it.